What's up guys, this is Jake here once again with a brand new video. Here today I am going to be doing a reaction video to a song by Lil Pink, which is a, a horrorcore rapper that I discovered thanks to a friend on Instagram. He posts a lot about this artist, so that gave me the idea to listen to one of his songs. Now, I it was completely random with the one that I picked. I chose one that just popped up on iTunes, I thought the artwork looked cool, and I figured, hey, maybe I can listen to it, maybe I'll like it, maybe it'll give me something new to listen to, because I'm deep into horrorcore, I think that stuff is f***ing amazing, and I would really love to expand my music library by listening to newer stuff. So, the song we are reacting to today is called... 1-800-KYS. Got a really good feeling about it, so I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to react to the song and then give all my thoughts and opinions towards the end of the video. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here we are. This is the song I'm going to be reacting to. It's only 2 minutes and 22 seconds, so it doesn't seem like it's going to be that lengthy. But, yes, this is the track, and now I'm going to get started. Also, I am using Mobazin because uh, I don't have the thing yet to make professional reaction videos, so I'm currently using Mobazin. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, make sure the volume's adjusted right. Nope, way too f***ing loud. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. Thug steps is on the hood, now I'm trying to get that butt Cop a nut, what a slut, oh yeah, step sis Suck on that dick or I'll rat you out I'ma misplace your asshole, nut on you Yeah, that's a pearl necklace, I live so reckless 90 in a school zone, we buy that pound Major gas, major loud your weak shit ain't allowed. Hey, you got estrogen in your veins. Me and my boys bout to run a train on your pussy boy ass. Stop crying before you start dying. Hey, you always lying, but you always crying, but you always the type to rat to the feds. I ain't on that shit. I ain't on that shit. Quick to put you in the ground. Blow a couple lids. Hey, we ain't on that ratting shit. We ain't on that ratting shit. We ain't on that ratting shit. Bitch, we on that rapping shit. Bitch, we on that trapping shit. Bitch, we gonna come straight for your neck. Cause you talking all that shit. Talking all that shit. Hey, bitch, I'm gonna slit your fucking throat and watch that red run out. Watch it run out. Watch it run out to my motherfucking floor. It's like, yeah, I love that shit. Crazy motherfucker, get down on my hands and knees and fucking slurp that shit, slurp that shit, slurp that blood up like I'm a fucking vampire, yeah, I'm the one that your shoddy fucking desire, hey, hey, she gonna suck my meat like it's fucking Wilshire, hey, bitch, hey, bitch, I'm spitting all this fucking fire and I don't even know, it's just off the motherfucking dome and I'm spinning in my parents' home, yeah, I'm a crazy motherfucker with a loose sense of fucking reality. I don't even know what's real. I swear to God, I got schizophrenia, fucking all that shit. I'm gonna prey on your mental illness, and I'm gonna fucking run up a bag on that motherfucking shit. I guess that's what my ex says. I exploit all you. I guess. Hey, bitch, I'm a real piece of shit. I'm a real piece of shit. Keep listening to this shit. Add another slit. Add another slit. Add another slit. Hey, bitch, load up that full clip. Fucking pull the trigger this time. Pussy don't puss out. Hey, when you try to pop the pills, take the right ones, bitch. Hey, if you're thinking about killing yourself, you should probably just do it. Eh. Okay, so that was my reaction to 1-800-KYS by Lil Pink. To be honest, I like it to an extent. It's not really that great either. I see a lot of issues with this track. I personally think that it could be it could have been a whole lot better than what it was. For example, I love the instrumental. I think the instrumental in this track is 
fucking amazing. Like, it has a bit of an old school vibe to it. The instrumental by itself is what would probably make me listen to this. Aside from the instrumental, I did not think very much of the vocals or the lyrics. The lyrics were very predictable. I could kind of get an idea of what he was going to say like after each line. The vocals don't sound as if they're mixed very well with the production or the instrumentation. They sound very out of place. Like I think they sound pretty good on a different instrumental but on this one the vocals just seem like they were randomly slapped onto it. And it even sounds as if he's up some of the lines because I noticed on one specific line, I don't remember exactly which one it was, it sounded as if he was about to say something else and then quickly change the word. That's kind of what it sounded like. It, it didn't really sound like he really knew what he was doing. It sounds like he just went in the studio and slapped a vocal stem onto an instrumental. That's all I can get from it. The vocals also kind of reminded me of Headless back in his horrorcore era, back in the year of 2000, because that's really all I can hear when I listen to these vocals. They sound so f***ing similar. Like, it's ridiculous, but... That is just a random thing I wanted to throw out. They sound very similar to... Headless's early albums back when he was doing horrorcore as well. The vocals don't mix in very well with really anything, and the lyrics are insanely predictable. It's not that bad. This is something that I honestly think I could get into after some time has passed, because I know that sometimes on my first listen, I don't really enjoy the track to its full potential. It really isn't that bad. I do enjoy the instrumentation. I do think that... There is uh, potential with the vocal work. I haven't heard any of his other music, so maybe this is just one track where the vocals sound like this, where they sound out of place. Maybe I'm wrong. Can't say for sure yet. All I really get from this song is a really good instrumental with some misplaced vocals over it. That's all I really get from it. It's not terrible, but it's also not the best thing either. It's just, it's just okay, but... That's really all I can say about it. It's not anything mind-blowing like I was expecting, but it was decent. It wasn't that bad, and I think that seems like something I could get into over time. But yeah, 1-800-KYS, this was a... Um Alright track, I don't really know what else to say about it. My final verdict for this track is a 4 out of 10. Because honestly, it's not that great of a song and it's not that bad of a song either. It's kind of in the middle. I could see myself getting into this. I could see myself recommending this to somebody. Although if you were new to horrorcore, I would not suggest touching this. But yeah, final verdict is a 4 out of 10. It's not that bad, but it's not really great either. I will leave a link in the description if you want to buy the single. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video.